Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you I do it, even if you don't care. And sorry about the lateness, I was on vacation um, last week, so I was asked to do this video about two weeks ago, and when I was planning to do prep for my vacation work, it just kind of got in the way, so I wasn't able to make this, so I do apologize for the lateness on this. But when I did the last um, video on what's on deck, what's on shelf, um, um, I got a email asking about how I prep Forge World um, models for painting and such. Now, what this means is, is you know, sometimes Forge World, well, like all times, Forge World has a little bit of release agent residue on them. This is from them spraying the molds to get the items out, and so they can get them out of the molds themselves, and it makes it really hard to paint the um, models. And so. What I usually do for prepping my Forge World models for painting is, is first off I go and I clean all the flock off of them. I still need to do some filing, but I, it's enough here right now where I can clean them now and they'll be good later. And once I've got all the um, filing taken care of, next thing I do is I go to my, my bathroom because it's the best place for me to get this work done out of the way of everything else and I get my little cleaning tub, this is what I use for stripping my models and for cleaning them and all that and I fill it with warm water and usually I use Dawn soap, um, dish soap and I haven't seen a difference like I've used Dawn with bleach, I've used um, you know I have. this is the first time using hand renewal I usually just grab what's under the sink at the time um, I don't use any specific brand of um, um, so, but I tend to use the Dawn um, dishwashing soap because um, it it just tends to be a nice high um, heavy cleaning solution that gets pretty much the work the job done. And so I fill the I put a nice coat uh, I put some in the in the Tupperware bin here. Then I fill it with warm water to get some suds up, and then I just place each bit in the. Um, the done. We're prepping my um, Dreadnought Drop Pod today, so I get all the pieces in there and let them soak for a few minutes. And while I let, let them do that, I'm going to say one thing that's a little bit different. The tiny pieces, really thin, small micro pieces, like for example with the, um, the pistons and the tiny um, skull bits on my Warhound Titan, those tend to be a little bit harder to do this technique with because they're more fragile and so they they have they run a risk of breaking a lot easier than most things. So what I do with them then is once I put them in here, I just let them sit in the tub for like hours. Um, was at one time, like for the Warhound Titan, all the little bits and pieces is um, it was my birthday. I put them in the jar in the tub at around. Three o'clock ish, and then I went out with my friends, saw a movie, had dinner, and chilled. And when I finally came back at our like um, midnight ish, then I drained. Then I drained the water out of the bin, keeping the bits in there. Rinsed them really well in warm in warmish water, and then let them dry. And that was the only real difference I do from here. Um, once I've had them sitting in the bin for a little bit. I usually, what I do then is, is I bring them over to the sink area, here, I take out one, I get a sponge, usually I use the water that um, I just put, I just had them in, and then I scrub them down with the brush, with the sponge here, trying to get them real good and sometimes what I'll do is, is I'll apply a little bit of Dawn to the actual item and you know, rub it up, get the sponge to suds up the piece. Um, some of these more finer detail spots here I try to go a little bit gentler just so I don't run the risk of ripping out pieces because like I did notice when I was getting this model prep there were some thin piece, thin spots and 
to avoid me having to do some extra green stuff work and such that I'm still kind of little bit of a um, learning on how to do properly. You know, this is just way it avoids more work and keeps the model more closer to its um, original look, which is really nice looking. And so I... There's that. And then once the piece is set and ready, I get some warm-ish water, you know, not too hot. Rinse them off. And then I rub them again, clean them up again. And a good way to check to see if you've gotten most of the um, release agent off is to rub your finger along it when it's wet. Like it's very, it's still very smooth. I'm not feeling like a texture to the resin. It's still fairly smooth, which usually is an indication that there's still release agent on the um, on the on the model piece that you're working with. So sometimes I have to do one or two coats of of Dawn washing to it. Let me. And I do usually end up ruining a sponge doing this just because the model the like sharp edges of the detail tends to just dig into the sponge. Let's see, so it is there. And now, so there we go. Now, let's see, let's see if you can hear it. See, I don't know if you could hear that or not, but I'm actually making a sound when I rub my finger across the top here. That's usually an indication that the release agent is um, being removed. Like I feel a little, I feel a little less resistance over here than I do here. Which, like I said again, is a kind of an indication that the release agent is being removed is removed from the um, resin piece because it's um, you know not as smooth, and that's what the release agent tends to do to the model is, is it makes it very smooth. And once I've done scrumming it down, and I feel I got a good enough off of it, what I do. Is, is I take the um, piece, and usually I'll leave it like this, and I put it back in the in the soapy water, and I get another bit, and I work on that one. And once I've done this to all the pieces on the um, model, I will, um, what I do is, is I then take the whole set and drain the water, rinse them out, rinse them really good, and then I let them dry. Now this doesn't, it's not a guarantee, um, guarantee that um, it's going to remove all the release agent. I mean, I've done this before and 
I've had it where there's just, you know, the paint will stick to pretty much every place on the model except for one bit. There's just this one spot that the release agent just wasn't removed from. So what I tend to do at that point is I spray paint the, um, the model and it's a little warp going in there. Um, I tend to spray paint the model and the spray paint seems to hold up on the, um, on the, on the model a little bit better than your regular, than regular, um, like Games Workshop paint. And so what I, so what I do is, is, um, I spray paint it first, this way, the, um, the model basically has time to, um, because then when I paint, I'm painting over the spray paint, and this gives it a little bit of an extra hold, allowing me to um, get the model coverage with um, nice um, paint coverage without me having to paint it like six or seven times. Okay, and that's basically all. That's basically all I do to prep my models for from Forge World for for painting. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and that's really basically it for now. Until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.